Hi everyone, this is Ruhi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Nika All Day Matte Waterproof, Transfer Proof, Mask Proof 12 hour long lasting lipsticks. So this was launched on 9th September 2021 and the day it was launched I got it the same day. Now I'm going to be reviewing this three lipsticks that I got from Nika. I'm going to talk about everything that I came to know about these lipsticks. I've tried it a couple of times and I'll tell you how long lasting it is and how it behaves and everything about these lipsticks. So without any further ado, let's get started. These lipsticks are basically available in 10 shades right now and they retail for 349 rupees for 2.1 ml of product which I think is okay -ish and it is very much budget friendly. We are going to be talking about the quality and the texture of this lipstick in the later part of the video. I have three shades with me Dream Vibe, Sweet Soul and Dear Dog. I got these three shades because I thought these three shades would suit me the best and there were a couple of pinks and reds as well and one other nude shade. Uh, I thought that would be a very uh, light shade for my skin tone and uh, the reds and pinks I already had similar shades so I did not want to waste my money on same shade buying it again from a different collection I bought these three and I'm going to be talking about these three shades in the entire part of the video now let's talk about the packaging of the product this is how the packaging of the product would look like and this is how it came in a plastic like this no other cardboard box or anything so yeah that's a very good part because less wastage of product and you can see all the marketed imported the manufacturing date the price the net weight everything on this white sticker here on the plastic and uh, this is how it will look like we have to peel off the plastic uh, and then apply the lipstick the Nika all day matte liquid lipstick this is in the shade dream wife uh, the manufactured uh, by details and the e-commerce ventures and the address of the manufacturer the email uh, support at nika.com the website of Nika the customer care number and the net weight of the lipstick is written over here on the sticker there is also a barcode there the bottom of the lipstick has the shade number and the 2.1 ml the net weight of the product right here and this is how the plastic cap would look like it's just a simple plastic cap there is nothing mentioned at the top it's just simple like this now after I peel off the plastic from top of the lipstick uh, we have just this the acrylic tube and the black plastic cap now if you can see here the manufacturing and expiry details of the product is mentioned the manufacturing date says July 2021 and expiry date says June 2024 uh, uh, the shelf life of the product would be three years uh, from the expiry date that we come to know now when i want to apply the lipstick we open this to a very white long wand and you can see at the end this is a very flexible applicator and this is how it looks like now if you ask me this lipstick has a little bit of fragrance i mean it's a fruity fragrance uh, to it like strawberry or something like that like a general lipstick it's a fruity fragrance basically it's a very sweet smell if you are allergic to fragrance or something like that then uh, i'm not sure if this would be a best thing for you the fragrance is not a lot but it's a little bit you know which is always there in cosmetics i don't mind fragrance in a cosmetic if it is not way too much to give me trigger my migraine uh, otherwise yeah it has a smell now let me show you the texture of this lipstick this is how it, the texture of this lipstick is. It's very uh, watery, creamy kind of texture. Uh, I won't say it's very moozy or something or very, very thick. It's very creamy uh, and it glides down very, very smooth. And you can see how pigmented, intensely pigmented this is. One stroke and you're good to go for the required pigmentation on your lips. Uh, you don't have to layer it again and again for the required pigmentation. This takes about 15 seconds to get dry down completely. I'll be waiting for 15 seconds and I'll show you how this is going to behave. Now 15 seconds are done and we can see it's already dried up and just to show you a close up of how the lipstick would look like. Now this is completely dried right now and on lips it's very very lightweight very very comfortable I'm wearing the shade soul sister right now on my lips I love this shade this is a very beautiful shade uh, I highly recommend the shade to everyone out there it will suit across every skin tone be it 
you know dusky beauties to the fair skin beauties out there everyone would rock this shade it will be a nude shade to all the dusky beauties out there and even it's it looks nude on my skin uh, because i have makeup it looks like this i i'm sure uh, i can also carry this without makeup because this is a, this will be a subtle nude for my skin tone just in case you're wondering i'm around nc40 in mac and 228 soft tan and maybelline fit me matte plus poreless foundation which is one thing i wanted to show you guys on how this is so much much proof i i am rubbing it hard in case you're wondering i'm rubbing it real hard but you can see there is literally nothing you can see that this is this does not smudge at all let's see what claims nika makes for all of these lipsticks one by one and i'm going to show you uh, how it works and if it stands by the claims or not one waterproof Second, transfer proof. In case you're wondering if I'm pressing hard or not, I'm pressing really hard. There is no transfer at all, zero transfer. Third, mask proof. I have a mask here. I'm going to wear this and I'm going to rub my lips on this mask to show you guys if it works or not. Because when I saw a few uh, people, few bloggers, uh, you know, uh, on Nika's website and on their Instagram page by rubbing their lips on the mask, I was very skeptical because a lot of lipsticks claim to be mask proof. A few of uh, and except Maybelline Superstay Matting Collection, I don't think any lipstick would have been mask proof because even though they claim to be transfer proofs and so much, but anyway, and at the end of the day, they are kind of creamy uh, or buttery or something like that. And they would stick a little bit, if not much, then even a little bit. If, if I wear a white mask, it will stain my mask. So I just got the lightest mask I had because I always use black mask and I could not have shown you guys how it would look. So I pulled out uh, this blue mask and I'm going to wear this I can show you that this is a very new mask and there is nothing as such here now let me show you the mask you can see here there is literally nothing no stain on the mask at all 4.12 hour long lasting comfort i've done a wet test for 12 hours so i'll be showing you guys if it lasted on me for 12 hours or not all day matte formula we can see that in the wet is that it stays all day matte and it has stayed matte all day um, no glossy finish or something like that completely matte like bang on matte lipstick non-drying uh, i might say uh, i'm not very sure about completely non-drying it's non-drying for me yes but if someone has very dry chapped lips i have a very normal lips so it's not very dry uh, even during winters it's just normal so if you have very dry lips i think it might be a little bit drying for you and you can you know use a um, lip balm underneath which is just common for every liquid lipstick if for liquid lipstick any liquid lipstick from any brand was Whatsoever. if it is uh, drying for you then you have to use a lip balm then your lips would have would be dry i have normal lips i never use lip balm under any liquid lipstick so that's fine for me it doesn't feel drying at all one stroke application as you will see in the swatch video just one swipe and you have the required pigmentation on your lips and you as you have seen here also that we did not have to swipe it again and again to get that required pigment high pigment formula i agree it has amazing pigmentation highly highly pigmented and with one stroke it's amazing yeah very much pigmented i agree to this flex tip applicator for precise application yeah the applicator of this is a little bit flexible so you can easily you know apply and outline your lips and you can move your lips not all of the, your lips would not be even everywhere you would have to outline and make a shape uh, from the lipstick so yeah a flexible tip would help uh, you know glide the lipstick all over your lips and it will be 
be very much helpful these lipsticks contain hydrating ingredients like vitamin e and almond oil which justifies the lipsticks being so comfortable and so lightweight on the lips you can remove these lipsticks using a strong oil based makeup remover or coconut oil or even cleanser which is very strong to pull your waterproof makeup like i have uh, been using from ns free pore brightening cleanser which is very very strong it can pull all of my waterproof makeup yeah you have to scrub it a little bit you have to rub it a little to take it off but a oil based makeup remover would do the job i guess we have pretty much covered everything about these lipsticks that you guys would have wanted to know now let's jump into the swatches So finally we are done with the swatches. I'm going to show you how difficult it was for me to remove a lipstick. I first used the baby wipes and then I had to pour some micellar water on top of it to try removing the lipstick. Uh, I think a oil based makeup remover would do the job and would remove it perfectly. I have the oil based makeup remover but in my vanity and I was very lazy to get up and go get it and then set the settings the camera again. Uh, so I did not get up but uh, it's very difficult and you can see it in the video how difficult it was for me to remove the lipstick. very stubborn very very long lasting i highly recommend it to everyone out there the shades are versatile they are very beautiful it would suit everyone right from fair to dusky skin tone so that was it for my little review on nika all day matte lipsticks i hope you liked it if you did please give my video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such content i'm gonna see you soon in my next video but until then do not forget to click the bell icon under this video to stay updated on every video i post on youtube YouTube. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.